Praise the Lord again, church. It's indeed a pleasure to be in the house of the Lord one more time. Amen? Amen. To be numbered among the living. It's always a blessing when you're walking on your grave. Amen? Amen. A lot of persons didn't get this opportunity that we're getting right now. They'd have loved to, but it didn't happen. So as we're here this morning to worship the true and living king, let us forget about ourselves this morning. We are here for one reason and one reason only. And it's to give the God above the praise, the honor, and the glory that he so deserves. Amen? We can talk for one another later. But right now, it's all about the man above. I'm going to ask the choir to march in if they are ready. gonna rain this morning there was a saying and while I'm talking could um, brother Christopher Taylor please come to do the open prayer there was a saying that two prophets went out to 
prophesy about rain. One went out and he was just talking that it's going to rain, it's going to rain, it's going to rain, but nothing happened. But when the second prophet went out, he went with his umbrella. Hallelujah. Because they said there's a difference between talking and believing. No, the one with the umbrella, he knew it would rain. So he came prepared. What am I saying? If you believe it's going to rain today, have your umbrellas up. Hallelujah. Jesus. Glory to God. Praise the Lord. Can we bow our eyes as we look to the Heavenly Father in prayer? Eternal, most righteous Heavenly Father. One more time, O oh God, we come before your presence in your house to worship. Nothing good we have done to be here this morning, but simply because of your grace and your mercies. Lord, we pray. We thank you for your goodness and your mercies towards us. We thank you, O oh God, for not treating us as our sins deserve, but for your compassion towards men as we are in your house this morning. Lord, forgive us of our sins and transgressions. Forgive us of our ways, God, that may not please in your sight. Lord God, and as we come into your house, help us, Lord God, to cleanse ourselves from all unrighteousness and to give you glory, honor, and praise. Help us to look to you in all things. Take hold of today's service. Father God, in the name of Jesus Christ, let your will be done. Not our will, but your will be done. Take away whatever thought there is that is negative. Take away, God, everything that is not of you. Let you and you alone be glorified in our hearts this morning. Take control, dear Father. Hallelujah in the name of Jesus. God, as today is called Men's Sunday, God, I pray for us as men. Help us to be strong. Touch our hearts. Strengthen us, God Almighty, as you have put us as men, as the head, God. Help us to stand, Lord God, in the liberty where you have placed us. God Almighty, help us to go forth, God Almighty, and declare your word. Take hold, Father God, of every aspect, of every era of our life. Father God, in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, bless everyone who are here this morning. Father God, bless the word that will come forth this morning. We pray in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Open our heart to receive you, Father God, and nothing else or no one else. Help us, God, not to look on those who are beside us this morning in order to be distracted, God Almighty. Father God, if there's anything that is inside us that is not of you, cleanse us from it this morning, Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. And let your will be done, God Almighty. Let everything be done according to your will and to your way. Take hold, Father. Take charge. Take control. We leave all things in your hands and we tell you thanks in Jesus Christ's holy name. Amen. Hallelujah. Would you turn your Bibles to Colossians 3, and it'll be reading from verse 1 to 14. Brother Scarlett. Pleasant good morning, everyone. Again, the scripture will be taken from Colossians 3. 1 to 14. Please listen while I read. Since then, you have been raised with Christ. Set your hearts on things above, 
where Christ is, seated at the right hand of God. Set your minds on things above, not on earthly things. For you died, and your life is now hidden with Christ in God. When Christ, who is your life, appears, then you also will appear in him, with him in glory. Put to death, therefore, whatever belongs to your earthly nature, sexual immorality, impurity, lust, evil desire, and greed, which are idolatry. Because of these, the wrath of God is coming. You used to walk these ways in the life you once lived, but now you must also rid yourself of all such things as these, anger, rage, malice, slander, and filthy language from your lips. Do not lie to each other, since you have taken off the whole self with its practices and have put on the new self, which is being renewed in knowledge in the image of its creator. Here, there is no Gentile or Jews, circumcised or uncircumcised, barbarian, Scythian, but Christ is in all and is in all. Therefore, as God chosen people, holy and dearly loved, Clothe yourself with compassion, kindness, humility, gentleness, and patience. Bear with each other and forgive one another if any of you has grievance against someone. Forgive as the Lord has forgave you. 14 and last. And over all these virtues, put on love, which binds them all together in perfect unity. Here is a portion of the Lord's word. We honor it by saying Amen. Please turn your hymnal to 113. That 13, that's 113. Glory to his name. <laughs> I 
Right now, the sister Clarlet Green should be coming at the day's welcome and announcement. Hallelujah! Praise the Lord! Shall we magnify the Lord this morning? Shall we magnify the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords this morning? Give a shout to the Father this morning. Give a shout to the Son this morning. Give a shout to the Blessed Trinity this morning. Hallelujah. All glory and all praise belong it unto our King and our God. We want to acknowledge the presence of our host pastor, Reverend James Lewis and Sister Lewis with us this morning. Thank you. Good to see you. Our councilmen and women who are here, we acknowledge you. Our ushers on duty, our life builders choir, they're looking wonderful. The multicolor dimension is happening. Yes, it's happening. Life builders, praise the Lord. Put your hands together for the men. They're growing. Praise the Lord. Our musicians, we acknowledge you. Worship team, we acknowledge you. To those who are viewing online, we acknowledge your presence with us this morning. And we thank you for tuning in to Glendavon live stream. To our regular members and friends, we acknowledge your presence with us this morning. And we thank you for coming out and thank you for making it um, out for worship today. We trust and hope that you will have a blessed day in the Lord and you will feel free to worship your God. Amen. Amen. The Lord bless you. Rev will be slipping away today to go to Salt Spring. So you will not see him for a little bit, but he is all right. Sister Lewis would like to meet with all the ladies after church regarding the banquet. So she has some updates. So ladies, please remain after service to speak with Sister Lewis. Evangelistic service is this evening at 7 p.m. 
Bible studies Wednesday evening at 6.30 p.m. in the sanctuary. The youth department celebrates March as Bible reading month and the book to study is the book of Romans. District Unity Fasting will be on March 19, that's this Tuesday, right here. So we are inviting everyone to be out if you are not going to work. And if you are not working and you want to invite somebody to come along with you, that is welcome. So District Unity Fasting will be on Tuesday, right here at 10 a.m. March 22nd is Youth Department God Style Lifestyle at the Savlamar Church. Please indicate to Sister Marie if you are interested in attending. This Friday night, we'll be having our Young Adult Ministry Meeting. This will be the first one for the year. So we are inviting all the young adults so come on out this Friday at 7 p.m. for our YAM meeting. This Friday is also the deadline to submit application if you're interested in working at Camp 2024. March 23, which is Saturday, will be the District Singles Workshop all the singles, please bear this in mind. Not sure of the venue, but you will hear uh, further in the group if anything is not posted. Next week, Sunday is Palm Sunday. Please remember to bring your palm branches and come and let us celebrate the great Hosanna in the highest. Amen? Amen. Garland's New Testament invites us to their annual rally. This will be next week, Sunday, March 24 at 7 p.m. And you'll hear which choir will be attending soon. Cornwall Court's New Testament will be having their choirs in praise next week Sunday evening and the woman's choir is asked to render the item. Singles ministry meeting will be on Thursday the 28th at 7 p.m. It's all about fine dining and social graces. All the singles please bear this in mind. The Montego Bay District of Churches Life Builders Mi Ministry invites us to a married men seminar called Married Men Have Struggles Too. Praise the Lord. Amen. The guest speaker will be Reverend Alton Thelwell, and this will be on Thursday, March 28th at 5.30 p.m. at the Montego Bay Church. So, men, who are married, you're invited to hear about the struggles that. <laughs> and the men who are not married, you're to be at singles ministry right here. Praise the Lord. Amen. Ladies, you're not invited. Just the men have struggles. <laughs> Praise the Lord. <laughs> <laughs> Youth Department District Praise Fest will be on April 19. All young persons and those who would like to join in the worship are asked to bear this in mind. So, Youth Congress will be April 4 to 6 at the Convention Center in Old Harbor, and we would like to arrange transportation early. So we are asking parents, if you are desirous of sending your children, your teens, and your young adults to Congress 2024, we ask that you speak with Sister Marie so transportation can be arranged. 
Pastors and Leaders Conference will be on April 3. If you're planning to attend, please advise so transportation can be arranged. The Women's Ministry Choirs in Praise will be on April 7. Tickets are, at ava are available at a cost of $300. Please purchase yours early and spread the word. Flankers New Testament invites us to their annual rally. This will be on April 9, 2024. I got the call that the brethren went last week. <laughs> Praise the Lord. <laughs> brethren, <laughs> please remember, if you don't hear all the announcements, you can go home and replay the stream here so you can get the announcement. All right? So Flankers Rally is April 9, all right? The Glendevon District will have its district convention on April 26. Oh, praise the Lord. Um, Sister, Sister, Sister Kian, I think you need to change Sister Marie glasses. All right, so the Glendevon District will have its district convention on April 26 to 28. So you will hear more about it, so please bear this in mind. Rally 2024. Praise the Lord. <laughs> Rally 2024 will be on June 28. And we are only four months away. Group leaders and members, Rally. you are asked to start taking in your contributions. And the choirs, you are asked to begin preparation for same. The funeral service for Sister Davis will be this Saturday at the Montego Bay New Testament Church at 10 a.m. Our condolences goes out to the family of the late sister Isilda Palmer, who passed away sometime last week. We ask that you continue to remember her in prayer. You might remember her or known. She all, when she comes from overseas, she always sits right in the bench that Sister Warren is currently sitting. Right? Sister who? Yeah, she used to be Sister Mac. Right. So I'll ask Sister Shelley to send a photo or Sister Vilma to send a photo so we can post in the group. You all know her. You just probably don't remember the name. But you'll know the face. Praise the Lord. Is Brother Jaden here today? Jaden Fowler or Jaden, what is Jaden's name? What's Jaden a look for, for Miss, Miss Sister Dixon? Jaden. <laughs> I don't remember my last name. So Jaden celebrated his birthday on Friday. So happy belated birthday, Jaden. Is Sister Anlees Dears here? Sister Anlees Dears will be celebrating hers on Thursday. Yesterday, your son, what's his name again? Tremaine. Shuane. All right. I'm going to stay with me on them names here. All right. So, Shuane celebrated his yesterday. Anybody else celebrated? Brother Bennett wasn't here last week when we did his, you know. So, Brother Bennett celebrated last week on the 13th. Happy belated, Brother Bennett. Yes. So, anybody else celebrating anniversaries or anything this week? Nobody else? All right, March kind of look, looking dry. All right. But the worship team is going to come. 
and they are going to do the birthday songs for all those who are celebrating their special days. Our condolences goes out to Sister Marie Smith and family whose husband, mother, has died. Praise the Lord. So we ask that you bear the family up in prayer. Happy birthday to you. This is your day, you know that we love you in a very special way. This is your day, your day, happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you, you're so young, age is just a number, don't you stop having fun, cause this is your day. Praise the Lord. I leave with you this week. Get close to God first before getting close to anyone else. God without man is still God, but a man without God is nothing. The Lord bless you. Hallelujah. Amen. And we welcome Sister Green, just the same. I get, remember, guys, you can always replay the service later to get the announcement. Because I know you can't get everything at the same time. That is the good thing about streaming. You can do this over and over and over again. At this time, I'm going to call Brother Christopher Taylor with a special item. Blessings. Good morning again, everyone. To God be the glory. You know, this road we are traveling on is not an easy one. And sometimes we mess up along the way. Yes, we are not perfect. We do mess up along the way sometimes. But that doesn't mean we are going to stay down. We're going to get up. And based off our falling, sometimes persons may still see us as our falling and look at us by with the area which we fall. But I'm here to say to you this morning and even to myself, it doesn't matter what you are going through. It doesn't matter what may have happened. It doesn't matter how people look at you. It doesn't matter even at your workplace. If you are the only one that should stand up for God, stand. Don't let nobody put you down. Stand up for Jesus. Hallelujah. I'm going on with Jesus and I can't turn back. Though no one go with me, I just won't stop. 
You may say that I'm not perfect, but then so what? I've got Jesus on my journey, and that's enough. I'm going on with Jesus, and I can't turn back. Though no one go with me, I just won't stop. You may say that I'm not perfect, but then so what? I've got Jesus on my journey, and that's enough. I know this journey ain't no easy ride. I've got heartaches, pain, and sorrows can't be denied. But one by one, I leave them all behind. For a better place with Jesus, I know fine. I'm going on with Jesus, and I can't turn back. Though no one go with me, I just won't stop. You may say that I'm not perfect, but then so what? I've got Jesus on my journey, and that's enough. Jesus told me in his words, he'll never leave me. He told me he'll be with me to the end. Though sometimes I feel alone, but he's still there with me. I thank God he's still my Lord and dearest friend. Oh, I'm going on with Jesus and I can't turn back. Though no one I just won't stop. You may say that I'm not perfect, but then so what? I've got Jesus on my journey, and that's enough. I know sometimes in life you're disappointed. When the ones you've counted on let you down. But don't lose hope while traveling pilgrim's journey. In the end, you'll hear him say, welcome home. Oh, I'm going on with Jesus and I can't turn back. Though no one go with me, I just won't stop. And so what? I've got Jesus on my journey, and that's enough. Say I'm going on with Jesus, and I can't turn back. Though no one go with me, I just won't stop. You may say that I'm not perfect, but then so what? I've got Jesus on my journey, and that's enough. One more time, I'm going on with Jesus, and I can't turn back. No, don't no one go with me, I just won't stop. You may say that I'm not perfect, but then so what? I've got Jesus on my journey, and that's enough. Say, I've got Jesus on my journey, and that's enough. Yeah, I've got Jesus on my journey, and that's enough. Oh, I've got Jesus on my journey, that's enough. Hallelujah. It doesn't matter where you're going. It doesn't matter who is with you or who doesn't come with you. 
But as long as Jesus is on that journey, as long as Jesus is on that journey, my brothers and sisters, it's not only enough, it is more than enough. You see, my, my brothers and sisters, the church of God, you know, is a very talented church, you know. I don't want to take it lightly. We have a brother we can sing country and western. Oh, no, 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 hear me. We say, our brother can sing country and western. And that's only just sing it red. He sing it good. But wait till the life builder's choir sing later. <laughs> oh, Jesus. My brothers and sisters, in the coming months, we have a special guest that will be a special item in this church. You know, I, I was trying to hold it back, you know. But I can't hold it, man. And as I call him name, I want him to stand up. Because he's a special guest. Brother Henry. Stand up, Brother Henry. <laughs> brother Henry. On the need for year, Brother Henry voice. But don't worry. The time is coming. He never want me to burst it out in a boat. Being as we in the we in the mood. Yes. Brother Henry, I'm excited and I guarantee you the life builder squire is excited. We can't wait. Can't wait to hear Brother Henry sing. Hallelujah. As the <laughs> praise and worship team comes to bring us closer to the throne of God, I want to say this. The church, my brothers and sisters, it should be easy to speak the truth, don't it? Then why is it so hard? Just want to bring us the reality of it. It is hard for a man to come in front of the church and speak the truth. Even right now, why I'm saying this, people is wondering, what the hell did Brother Bennett do now? I didn't do nothing. I'm just saying. If you speak the truth, the church crucify you. Sad. But it's easy. What, why do you think you find more men in the rum bar than in church? The reality we are talking about. You know? Because it's easier for the man going at the rum bar and say, my, 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 my brethren, you know, say, last night, this happened, man, that happened. And instead of pushing me away, So can we talk about this man? Then why is it the church that Christ designed cannot embrace each other in love? Instead, we are packed up with actors. All who don't have to go nowhere, but don't come to the church. Because when a brother fall or a sister fall, we said, Me tell you, God, you and God go and talk. Because if you know. That your brothers and sisters is falling and wait to celebrate. You need to read your Bible some more. We are our brother's keeper. That means if my brother is hurting, I should be hurting. If my sister is hurting, I should be hurting. Well, I can tell you. The other day, Rev mentioned... A support system. I have a support system. See them there. Anything at all. We talk about it. On a Monday night. Or anytime we want to call. We designate Monday nights. To that support system. We need to be. Our support system. You can't just watch your brother go down the hill. And feel happy about it. No. It wasn't designed that way. Not the church. So if we are finding more comfort outside the church, 
then why are we wondering why the churches are empty? But I've, I've realized that we as men of God, as the minister said Sunday night, powerful sermon, we are the spiritual gatekeepers. Not for the church alone, but for our communities and our homes. Now if we fall asleep, or just think about it, you know, if you is a security and you fall asleep, what's going to happen? We're going to get overrun. Now it's sad to say, we as a church has fallen asleep. You don't want to hear it. That's all right. We have fallen asleep. That is why the devil has crept in and overrun us. While we run up and down in the aisles. Like we're crazy. Yet still, the church fall apart. And your brother and your sister need. And you can't see it. And who you're running up and down with. We go and get a rude awakening. Praise be. Bless the name of the Lord Church. Let us pastor ourselves for worship this morning. Let me see you stand and lift your holy hands and give the Lord a shout in the house this morning. Give the Lord another praise in the house this morning. Hallelujah. Consume me, Lord, with the fire of your spirit. Consume me, Lord, and make me more like you. Ray. 
Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Our God is not only the reigning king, but he is holy and righteous. I want to thank the praise team. Also, I want to thank Brother Christopher Taylor and Brother Scarlett for taking us this far. And as you get your tithes and offering ready, I'm going to also ask Sister Clark to come back just to visit the throne of grace for the blessing of the tithes and offering. And while she comes, my brothers and sisters, just remember, we serve a holy God. And that's so we have to present ourselves to him. There is no shortcut to salvation. It is narrow road. And as the Bible says, few, don't forget that word, few will make it there. Bless the Lord. If you're excited to bring your sacrifice and oblation to the Lord, let us stand together. Can I ask of you to take out that which you have purposed in your heart? I know somebody this morning would have given a free will offering. Or maybe somebody wants to put God to a test this morning. If you don't have that offering this morning, I still ask you to stand in faith this morning. Father, we look to you this morning. We stand in confidence this morning. Because, Lord, your people have heard your word. You have allowed us to know, Lord God Almighty, you asked us to bring our substance into your house. And in obedience, we have brought that substance into your house. And so we stand with faith believing that you will keep the devourer away from us this morning. We ask of you this morning, as your word declare, that wine makes the heart merry, but money answereth all things. And so, Lord God Almighty, as your people come and stretch towards thy treasury today, we ask, Lord God Almighty, that you're the God who give the exceedingly and the abundance. So give unto your people, mighty and great God, press down, Shaken together, run it over, and shall men not give in to thy bosom. So today we ask God Almighty that you sanctify in the mighty name of Jesus. Bless your people as they walk to give into thine house. We ask of you this morning that your name may be glorified as we give into your house. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. Lord, you are good and your mercy endureth forever. Lord, you are good and your mercies endureth forever. Lord, you are good and your mercies endureth forever. Lord, you are good and your mercies endureth forever. From every nation and tongue, from generation to generation, we worship you.
Sisters, it's getting to that time, you know. It's getting to that time. Remember, I told you we have special guests singing today also. But just before the Life Builders Choir sings, um, you it was in the announcement that Rev is going to have to step out for a minute. So I'm just going to ask him to introduce the, the speaker before, just in case he has to run out before that time comes. Amen. Shall we praise the Lord? Put your hands together for Brother Bennett, a wonderful you know, servant of the, of the Lord. You know, I love his spirit. I love his commitment. You know, and I love his desire you know, to see the work you know, of God you know, go on. And I'm very proud of him. And I just know that God's uh, blessings will continue to be upon his life. I greet you well this morning. And as you'd have heard, I will be slipping out, you know, in a short while. And so I won't be the one to bring forth the word today. But I'm very glad, you know, that God always, you know, has someone, okay, that he can use, amen, to, to minister unto his children. And I 
since I came here, I've grown to love this brother. I've grown to respect him. I've listened to him as he, he shared you know, in other you know, areas and departments. And I, I feel very proud. My head sometimes swell. I don't know how it doesn't get any bigger. But you know, I'm very proud to hear his sound doctrine. And I speak of no other one today than Councillor Claude Cummins. He will be the person to, to bring forth the word today. And I know that the Lord has given him a word. And if I don't get the chance to, to hear it in church, I will watch it you know, later when I get the chance. So when he comes, I want you to preach with him. I want you to pray him up that the Lord you know, will do whatever he has to do through him today. Receive our brother when the time comes. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. Many times as Christians, we have, we have seen how wonderful the Lord is. We have seen how great our God is. And no matter what the situation, no matter what the circumstances, we serve a good God. Amen? We serve a wonderful Lord. And with my own encounter with the Lord, I just want to tell him, I love you, Lord, for your mercy never fails me all my days. I've been nailed in your hands. From the moment that I wake up until I lay my head, oh, I will sing of the goodness of God. You have been faithful. So, so good with every bread that I am able. Oh, I will sing of the goodness of God. I love you, Lord, for your mercy never fails me. All my days have been nailed in your hand. From the moment that I wake up until I lay my head, oh, I will sing of the goodness of God. Because all my life,
my life. Hallelujah. My brothers and sisters. Not part of your life. But all your life. He has been faithful. Faithful when he woke you up this morning. Faithful when you can see, hear, talk. The minister is going to come, but I, I just want. I went to the hospital the other day. I saw Brother Claude coming. My, my uncle had an 